Remember the Kyocera Echo? It had two screens and flipped together to form one? No? Well, here's a device that should jog your memory. The Axon M by ZTE. Composed of two thin film transistor LCDs, both with full 1080p resolution, the Axon M lists its display at 5.2 inches and boasts 426 pixels per inch. Fully extended, the display has an aspect ratio of 1.78 by 1. They'll likely have to do some stretching or cropping. But alas, although this setup is great for consuming content, be it from Facebook, YouTube, or regular web browsing, equally important is its prowess for multitasking. That's why ZTE has created three different modes to use this device. These include modes to mirror content on both screens, stretch content across both, or have two separate screens delivering different content. Mirroring can be a great tool, perhaps in a tent mode, where two users can view content on the opposite sides of the device, whether this be for a game, presentation, or video. While this can be fun and sometimes useful, using the device with two independent screens will likely be the other most common way you use the device besides using it as one whole screen. With two independent displays, the user can multitask as usual, but with the added ability to run two instances of the same app. This makes copying and pasting between documents a much easier experience, but it also allows users to watch two videos simultaneously and easily jump back and forth between the audio streams. There's of course a myriad of use cases one can apply in this mode, and we're glad to see ZT has added some useful gestures for it as well. Three finger swiping moves an app from one screen to another, while sliding a finger along the bottom extends an app to full screen mode. Even in our preliminary time with this device, we could easily see their usefulness. The best thing about this setup is that all these screen modes and capabilities are already built right into Android, a luxury the ill-fated Kyocera Echo didn't get to have in 2001. Specifically, this screen setup benefits from Android's native tablet implementation as well as dual-screen multitasking, so app developers need not tweak their apps for this device, although we don't suppose adding full-screen controllers to certain games could hurt. Regardless, the implementation here is quite seamless, and the performance we encountered was quite good as well, though we would like to see the transitions between screen modes be a little bit more responsive. Otherwise, this device runs off the plenty quick Snapdragon 821 and 4 gigs of RAM. 64 gigs of storage and a 20 megapixel camera were nice to find as well. Adding to this near flagship level feel is the sturdy construction of aluminum and glass, as well as a hinge with satisfying resistance, which inspires confidence. All of this seems to add up to a highly capable device, even without the second screen. With the rumors and concepts of foldable phones only becoming more frequent, perhaps now is the right time for the foldable smartphone. I'm Corey Gaskin with Phone Arena. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for our latest news and reviews.